Yo, what is up guys, Oscar here with a new video and this is going to be discussing uh, Real Madrid's next matchup against Real Betis that's going to happen this uh, Saturday, uh, tomorrow, May 24th at 3pm Eastern Time, 9pm Central Europe Time. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get a, go ahead and get started. Um, so here are the active players for tomorrow's game, goalkeepers. Thibaut Courtois, Andre Lunin, Diego Altub, defenders, Dani Carbajal, Eder Militao, Rafael Varan, Nacho Fernandez, Marcelo, and Odrio Sola. <coughs> excuse me. Um, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, midfielders, Luca Modric, Casemiro, Isco, Sergio Rivas, and Antonio Blanco. Forwards, Eden Hazard is back, Karim Benzema, Marco Asensio, Vinicius Jr., Mariano, and Rodrigo. So here's the, this is going to be tough, um, but I will, you know, voice my opinion on players that should get some rest um, for, you know, for this game. Um, Real Madrid, um, what's his name? Uh, Zinedine Zidane. I suggest that you don't, even though he's available for this game, I would not play at all. Maybe maybe the last, ten, I, I would give him 10, 5 to 10 minutes at most. 5 to 10 minutes at most. But do not play Eden Hazard 60, 70 minutes. Don't do that. We have, Real Madrid have bigger fish to fry in my opinion. And I'm not saying that Real Betis, you know, is a pushover or anything. I'm not. You know, Real Madrid and Betis... Um, to my memory, those games are always a wild ride. Betis always give Real Madrid a run for their money. In fact, I think Real Betis, they are sixth in the table. So they would be, if the league, if La Liga would be ending today, they would actually have an Europa, an Europa League um, spot. So I'm not saying that this is a pushover, but you got to th think of the bigger picture. Um, you know, you're still alive. Uh, UEFA is not going to kick you out of the Champions League. Um, so, you know, you're, you're not being penalized there. So, you know, you should be grateful that, you know, your, your clown of a president, you know, didn't get you guys into much trouble. But, you know, UEFA is being generous. You don't know what's going to happen in the future um, next season. But you are still alive to get your next, your potentially your last UEFA Champions League trophy. Um, so you got to think about Chelsea on Tuesday at well, because that's that's a Tuesday game. And of course, I'll break down um, what this game means for certain players when it comes to the Chelsea Round Madrid preview. But more on that later. But Eden Hazard shouldn't be given. Maybe, I'll be generous, I would say 15 minutes. 15 minutes at the most. If he's given more than 15 minutes, he's most likely not going to play Tuesday. I'll tell you that much because um, he only played 15 minutes the last time around and he came off of injury and he got hurt again. So, Eden Hazard, welcome back. Zinedine Zidane, please do not risk Eden Hazard because, like I said, I'll, I'll break down what that means. He's a former Chelsea player, and I'll mean, and I'll break down what that means um, in a later video. But don't push Eden Hazard. Don't push Luka Modric, who's coming off of injury. And he had a back injury. I don't know if it was a back spasm or what. But I wouldn't push Luka Modric to play full 90 minutes in this game either. you got to think of the bigger picture. Antonio Blanco played outstanding. Um... This this past uh, Wednesday, so give Antonio Blanco another start. Give him another start. Um, you know Casemiro's fine. Um, you know maybe 
the 3-4-3 three, three formation worked out for you, try that again just so that way you can save your players, okay? You need to save your players to avoid any other injuries. So this is the way that I would line up. Nacho, Eder Militao, and um, Rafael, Va Rafael Varane. And give Dani Carvajal some minutes. Don't give him starts either because, you know, he, he just came back off of injury and he's been gone for two months. He's been off and on with injuries. So give give Dani Carvajal some rest. You know, if you want to start him, I would be okay with that. But just don't have him play the full 90 minutes so that way he doesn't get hurt. Um, so I would do Dani Carvajal, Eder Militao, Rafael Varane, Nacho... And Dani Carvajal, hold on, Dani Carvajal, Nacho, Eder Militao, and hold on, I just lost my train of thought, give me one second guys, okay, let's try this again, Dani Carvajal, Nacho, Eder Militao, and, uh, ooh, Nacho, okay, Nacho, Eder Militao, Rafael Varane, and, oh man, I'm thinking, for, why does my brain keep on going to third, forgive me one second guys, I need to look at the starting lineup again, my brain is freezing all of a sudden, let me see here, uh, let's look at my notes here, um, okay, all right, so I would have Dani Carvajal given some minutes, Eder Militao, Rafael Varan, Nacho start this game. Um, you know, maybe no, 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 no. Okay, sorry guys. Let's uh, let, let's fix this. So if, if it's gonna be a three four three, which worked out perfectly, and then you gave minutes to other players. So I would do that again for now. I would give Eden Militao minutes. Rafael Varan and Nacho the start. Fill up that midfield with Casemiro, Antonio Blanco, uh, Marcelo, and Odrio Sola. I would give Odrio Sola some minutes as well because let's, he, he played very well this past Wednesday. So I would not be afraid to put him in that, you know, help him out, you know, be a defender, but, you know, he can also help out in that, you know, help out um, Marcelo, who, you know, lacks in, in defensive qualities now. Um, so do that 3-4-3 formation again. So Rafael Varan, Nacho, and Eder Militao in the back, Casemiro, uh, Antonio Blanco, Marcelo and Odrio Sola in the midfield. Crowd up that midfield as much as possible and give maybe revert back to a 4-3-3. Give Modric some minutes, but I wouldn't give him the full 90. And then the four starting um, attackers would be, of course, give Karim Benzema the start, Vinicius Jr., and Rodrigo. Give those three guys the start, and then, you know, you can sub off and put in Mariano, and put in Asensio, and then put in Eden Hazard if you want towards the towards the end. But that's the way that I would book it. Um, let me know what you guys think about the starting lineup. I know that I, I was having a brief breeze free, freezing moments. It's because I'm so used to seeing Ferland Mendy in the lineup, but he is not back. And who knows? The 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 reports say that he probably won't even be back for the ch um, first leg Chelsea game. You know his recovery isn't going as expected so you know he's he's probably not going to be back um who else isn't going to be back um you know Tony Cross may or may be not be back by by this um by this game um of course um we know that um Fede Valverde is out with COVID so he most likely you know he's out for the Chelsea game um, like I said, I apologize for the, uh, um, the, the, uh, brain freeze. Like I said, it happens to the best of us. Um, I'll, you know, I'll get better. Um, 
So that's my starting lineup. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, Real Madrid and Betis always, that, those games are wild. When these two teams play, it's a wild ride. And I think Real Madrid, unfortunately, um, they dropped points against Hetafe. They were able to bounce back and defeat Cadiz handily. But I don't think um, they're going to be able to beat Betis handily this, this time around. In fact, I think they're going to drop points. I think, um, you know, th they're going to be thinking about Chelsea in the semifinals all this time. They, I know that they got they got to push that out of the mind. They got to take it one game at a time. But it's just going to be too much to overcome. So I say Real Madrid tie, uh, draw 2-2. Two to two. It's going to be a 2-2 two two game. Because Betis, like I said, they, they always give Real Madrid a run for their money. In fact, if it wasn't for a penalty in the last game, I think... Yeah, pen, if it wasn't for a penalty in the last few minutes of the last game that Real Madrid and Betis faced off back in September, um, it would have been a 2-2 two two draw. But Real Madrid would have barely escaped with a 3-2 win um, in the last game. So I think that this game is going to come down to, wire, to to the wire. Real Madrid is going to try to find that that score to, that goal to give them the lead, but it's not going to be enough. They draw 2-2. Two two. Let me know what you guys think about the score prediction. Let me know what you think about the lineup prediction. Once again, I know that I was wishy-washy. Or not wishy-washy. I was struggling with thinking... Um, I would have Nacho, Eden Militao, and um, Rafael Varane in the back to start this game. Crowd up that midfield. Give Casemiro, Antonio Blanco, Marcelo, and Odrio Sola um, the midfield. And then, of course, forwards to start would be Karim Benzema, Vinicius Jr., and Rodrigo. Yes, I would repeat the same thing that happened that they did with Cadiz. Just because it worked out so well last time. And then you guys can make substitutions whenever Zinedine Zidane sees fit. But players that need some rest or not be you know not given too, too many minutes are Dani Carvajal who, who came back off of injury. But you got to you know reserve him for an important game against Chelsea. You got to make sure Luka Modric stays you know well because he missed last game with a back injury. And he has been... For some reason, Zinedine Zidane does not like resting him, but he needs some rest, especially if he's 35 years old. You know, he's on the wrong side of 30, so you need to keep him um, healthy as possible. And then you got to keep Eden Hazard healthy as well. Just don't risk any injuries with these guys. So do not give him the start. Give them some minutes in the second half, you know, maybe late second half. Or if you want to start them, just sub them off maybe after 50, 55 minutes. That's the way that I would do it. So let me know what you guys think about that. Anyways, that'll do it for this video, guys. Um, an announcement. I'll be doing my Washington mock draft next. My Washington football team mock draft 4.0. And then there's a special announcement coming for you guys in that video. So please subscribe to my channel if you know if you love European soccer content or Real Madrid content or and Real Madrid content. Or if you like Washington football team and NFL content, because those are the two things that I discuss on my channel, um, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and family. Until then, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys here in a few minutes or next time. Peace.